Hi, I'm Josie with the Binder Boneyard, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the brake drum from a full float rear axle commonly found in three quarter ton trucks and larger. Okay, some of the tools we're going to need today are a socket to remove the axle shaft nuts or bolts, hammer, chisel, a brake adjusting tool or a screwdriver if you don't have one of these, and a punch and some rags because it might get a little oily and greasy. So when we pull the axle shaft out, we're gonna get a bunch of oil and stuff that falls out. So we put a catch pan down on the ground. Um, so we're gonna take out all of the, the axle shaft nuts. All right, we're gonna take our hammer and our chisel and put the tip of the chisel right in the seam. And give it some smacks until it loosens up. And we're gonna grab our rag here, pull the axle shaft out. So inside here, when we get the axle shaft out, you'll see that there's these tabs that hold the nut. And uh, I actually just broke that one off a little bit when I tried to push to peel it back and that's okay. Your nut's not junk after that. When you go to reassemble it, you can just fold one of these other tabs over. There's extra tabs there. So that one right there is what, what uh, broke off when I tried to bend it backwards. All right, so once you've got that tab, whichever one was folded over, once you have that uh, folded back in, um, you can see there's this nut. Most people don't have a socket that's large enough to fit around that. So you just take your chisel at a bit of an angle and, and tap it. As you can see, other people have done that before. So we're going to try to do that too and get it to spin. Like so. Alright, so we'll go ahead and pull this washer out of there, or nut, wedged in there. Okay. And then you can see there's another nut in there, and uh, if this one's loose enough I can and, and uh, tighten it with my fingers but um, if it's not you can do the same trick with the chisel and the hammer again to get it loose and you have to be careful because when you take this off uh, if the hub is loose it will also walk out as you pull the nut out and it'll fall off on the ground so watch that Okay, once the other nut is off of there, you're going to want to cover it up with a rag so that when you slide it off, the bearing doesn't fall out on the ground. This one's already loose, as you can see here, so we're just going to slide it off. And set it. Okay. Alright, so we were lucky. Our whole thing, our assembly, the drum and it all came off, but if you run into where your drum is hung up on the brake shoes, what you'll need to do is go in the back and you can see this little plastic plug right here. Oops. And that will give you access from the backside to the adjuster for the brake shoes. So you would take your, your brake adjuster tool 
in through the back and just that's wrong loosen okay so the drum is attached to the hub with the by the studs so to separate these two you'll want to remove the nuts and drive the stud down with uh, something soft like a like a brass ha hammer or mallet you do not want to hit the nut on the stud because it will mess the the threads up on the stud okay so that's how we get the brake drums off of our axle um, if you enjoyed watching this today thank you for checking us out and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and tell all your friends <laughs>